Oh, I already had things in my cart. Uh, it's a problem most parents know well. Carrie Williamson is constantly shopping to replace the clothes and shoes of her two young and growing boys. Clothing, shoes, you know, socks, underwear, like they grow out of stuff so quick. Which is why she says buy now, pay later. Four payments of 3128 with afterpay. Been a lifesaver. And then you just hit pay with afterpay. I love using buy now, pay later. As soon as Carter's Old Navy DSW have all been using it, I've been using it. She's paid for purchases with afterpay, Sezzle, and Klarna, three of dozens of buy now, pay later companies now on the market. So I think it's very attractive and convenient and easy for one income families, maybe single mothers, um, even if you have two incomes. Here's how it works. During checkout, most retailers will now offer you an option to break up your total purchase into four smaller payments, often with no interest. For instance, if your total is $300, you'll pay $75 at checkout and then have three remaining payments of $75, bucks, each due a few weeks apart. You'll get the product immediately. And as long as you made all those payments on time, you'll pay off the purchase in six weeks. Have you ever had any problem? I've never had a problem. I mean, they send me the reminder, the money's always there, and you get your product immediately. According to Juniper Research, there are 360 million buy now, pay later users worldwide. Five major buy now, pay later firms, Afterpay, Klarna, PayPal, Affirm, and Zip, reported to a federal watchdog agency $24 billion in loans in 2021, up from $2 billion in 2019. Despite its popularity, 21 state attorneys general across the country are expressing concerns, writing to a government watchdog that some buy now, pay later providers are frequently failing to provide consumers with clear disclosures. We want to make sure people are aware of what they're doing before they do it, because this could really seriously impact your credit rating as well. Karen Strawn is with the Maryland Attorney General's Office in the Consumer Protection Division. Although she hasn't seen a large number of complaints filed in her office, she does caution consumers that buy now, pay later plans can lead to unintentional debt. Is there a difference between buy now, pay later and credit cards? Absolutely. Credit cards, you are building credit when you make purchases and you pay off your bill. With a buy now, pay later situation, you're not building credit. The only thing you may do is potentially harm your credit if you miss a payment. And more people are missing payments. According to a new study from the Consumer Financial Protection Bureau, more than 10 percent of consumers were charged at least one late fee last year. More oversight may be on the way. The CFPB is looking at a number of options. Laura Udis is a senior program manager with the CFPB. In the report, the agency identifies several risks for consumers using buy now, pay later, including the lack of clear disclosures about loan terms, issues resolving disputes, and the requiring of auto pay for payments. Buy now, pay later being so quick and easy may encourage overspending and overextension, where consumers quickly buy a number of products from buy now, pay later firms and lose track of when payments are due. BNPL only represents about 4% of e-commerce in the U.S., but it's doubling year over year. A firm tells us it is transparent and there are no hidden fees. Klarna says low-cost, low-risk, no-interest products like BNPL should not fundamentally be regulated in the same fashion as high-cost credit products. Financial coaches like Cherry Dale with the Virginia Credit Union say budgeting is key when it comes to buy now, pay later. I don't know that it's necessarily a bad thing, to be honest with you, layaway. I don't believe is a bad thing. Dale says you have to budget and set aside money to pay off those loans. Make sure you understand the terms of the contract you signed and know the consequences of missing a payment. You as the consumer need to understand, okay, I have a buy now, pay later product that I am paying $100, $200 on. I've got to calculate that and make sure that I don't get in over my head. Because if a lender pulls your credit report, all of the payments you've made for your buy now, pay later loans won't show up. They are not reported to the three major credit bureaus. But if you don't pay, that does get reported. They do after pay as well. 
Carrie Williamson doesn't use credit cards. For her family, buy now, pay later is a useful tool to make inflation more manageable. Sometimes you don't always have four or 500, you know, a large payment, you know, lying around in your bank account, but you do have, you know, the $100, the 200 right away, and then if you get paid every two weeks, it just works itself out. A payment uh, plan sure that for Williamson works. That. But others warn you may get in over your head. For Investigate TV, I'm Rachel DePompa.